Hello and welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones, and I am really excited about what mm -hmm. we have on today's show. It's a good lineup. You know, anyone getting ready to move into a new home and give that new home wonderful atmosphere and style will want to see what's coming up. That's right. We have outdoor home improvements and home construction improvements that can save you money. And it's all right here on Designing Spaces. special materials that go into creating an attractive outdoor living space, there are interesting materials going into the unseen spaces behind the walls of your home, like insulation. Watch this. Designing Spaces caught up with Lila Wright, a board member of the Spray Polyurethane Foam Alliance and a vice president at UCSC. A material's R value is measured by its resistance to heat flow. Sprayed closed cell foam has about double the R value of conventional insulations such as cellulose and fiberglass. But we know insulation efficiency is measured by many other factors such as air infiltration and exfiltration, the ability of a material to keep conditioned air inside and unconditioned air outside. Radiation, which we could liken to the sun's radiating rays coming through a car window or a building window. Conduction, which would be the transfer of heat or cold, say via the fastener through the wall, bringing hot into the cold condition space or cold into the warm condition space. And convection. Convection gets started when hot and cold clash inside of a wall cavity, starting the convection loop, which leads to moisture accumulation. Moisture accumulation can lead to mold growth and other allergens, and also lead to premature deterioration of our building materials. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, heating and cooling account for 50 to 70 percent of the energy used by the average American home. Dave Morgan took designing spaces to an average home to point out weak spots or leak spots where energy can be lost to the outside, resulting in higher energy bills. As performance home builders, our job is to provide our clients with energy efficient, safe and sustainable homes. So what's the best insulation? The best way to do that we've found is with closed cell polyurethane insulation. Air leaks in and out of the home make a home very difficult to heat and cool. By reducing and eliminating leaks through the windows, wall cavities, and any crack, crevice, or gap that there might be in the exterior envelope, it allows us to reduce the amount of HVAC load, which in turn reduces the energy consumption and your cost. The water barrier, moisture barrier, vapor barrier uh, on the exterior of the home is important in that it, it, uh, it's a raincoat, if you will. What this product does is it, it seals the wall so completely that moisture really, it's a very low permeable product. Moisture can't come in through the wall and therefore um, the HVAC system on the inside will keep the inside of this wall cavity uh, completely dry. Typical places where uh, air leaks occur around windows, doors, uh, certainly all the cracks uh, and crevices and gaps in the wall structure itself. Uh, top plates are an area where uh, historically uh, it's very difficult to seal up. And in this case, in this home, what we've done to optimize the performance is to uh, create an unvented attic. We take this same product, spray it on all of the roof deck and create a completely enclosed igloo type structure. Our value becomes less of an issue when, uh, when you don't have this leakage. And in some cases, in most conventional homes, I would say uh, uh, the average leakage into the house through lighting fixtures, wall cavities, uh, windows, door cracks, and so forth is equivalent probably to leaving the front door off the house altogether. Closed cell spray polyurethane foam can produce twice the insulation R value of materials like fiberglass and cellulose. This next demonstration will actually help us show how efficient spray foam is. But first, let me introduce George Blanos, Senior Account Executive with Honeywell. George, glad you could join us Thank today. You for, thank you for inviting me. Honeywell provides the blowing agent or their Innovate product for our closed cell foam. This chamber is divided with three different insulation materials, cellulose, closed cell foam, and fiberglass insulation. The 
bottom is heated with basically a blow dryer, heated hot air coming through. Currently, this temperature is 115 degrees below. The cellulose insulated box is at 107, while the closed cell box is reading 94 degrees, and the fiberglass is at 107. Huge temperature differences, don't you think, George? Absolutely, and this is a very simple demonstration of the effectiveness of the closed cell spray foam, as you can see, where you have a blown in cellulose material, which is very commonly used in insulation, as well as fiberglass, and the two are, the two are direct comparing against the closed cell spray foam, which has about 97% uh, cell structure of gas in the cells to help minimize the, the effects of heat transfer as well as, as you can see, airflow. So here we're seeing a lot of hot air coming through the cellulose insulation as well as the fiberglass. And then with the spray foam, absolutely no air is coming through this chamber. So again, demonstrating how effective it is at sealing our home for the, from the environment. When we're looking at the success of an insulation material, we want to know that it provides a healthy, comfortable environment for the occupants, free from drafts, outdoor noise pollution, and it provides energy savings and the best economics for the building owner. The closed cell nature of spray applied DuraFoam provides increased structural strength in our wall cavities. We know this via tests that the National Home Builders Association conducted a number of years ago where they showed walls insulated with spray of foam had increased shear and racking of 300 times that over walls insulated with fiberglass insulation. Shear and racking are basically the force of the wind on a wall which can deflect that wall inward or it can warp that wall either way. So with the ability of spray foam to keep that wall intact, in place, our homes are structurally reinforced. In addition to its wonderful insulation properties and the bonus of added wind resistance, closed cell foam is the only insulation rated by FEMA as resistant to flood water damage. If you're a homeowner ready to restore an older house or plan on building, seriously consider spray foam insulation like DuraFoam as part of an energy efficient package. You know, the right construction materials are oh so important to creating the right environment inside your home.